Hi folks, today we're going to learn how to sign a PowerShell script. I have this basic script as an example, but any PowerShell script can be signed. I'm going to first demonstrate what happens when you try to run an unsigned script when the current policy requires signed scripts. To do this, I'm going to set the execution policy to require signed scripts. Now let's run our unsigned script and observe the behavior. Notice the exception that stops us from running this script. Let's sign our script to fix this error. I'm going to use a self-signed certificate located in my personal store, but you can use any code signing X509 certificate. We can validate that our certificate is code signing by using the enhanced key usage list property. Notice it indicates that it's a code signing certificate. Using our certificate, I will use the set authenticode signature commandlet and pass the certificate and the path to the script to this commandlet. Great, now that we've signed our script, let's take a look at it. Notice how the script has a signature block at the end. This must stay here, so in the future, we can validate the signature. To validate the signature, we can use the get authenticode signature commandlet. This commandlet will tell us the certificate that signed it, the current status, and the path to the script. Now we can run our script with a valid signature. Great. Now that we've signed our script, we can successfully run the script. That is how you sign scripts in PowerShell. Thank you.